Hi, this is Champlet2 on the PlayStation Network. This video will review the ideal gun running bunker locations for making the most money with the least amount of time and effort. I'll demonstrate how I tested the bunker locations and came to my final conclusions. The focus of this video will be gun running sales only. For maximum profit and minimal time and effort, I found it's best to simply buy the supplies for the bunker rather than stealing them. Yeah, it's true, you can you are going to cut into your profits by buying supplies. However, you can make a lot more money by doing other tasks than you can save by stealing the supplies. For example, one gun running supply mission could take anywhere from 5 up to as many as 20 minutes to complete and you will not get full supplies from that single mission, especially if you're starting with an empty bar. If you pay a maximum of $75,000 to get a full supply bar, you can earn that back in just a few minutes by doing an import-export sale of a top-range car for about an $80,000 profit. That's why I'm focusing this video just on the gun running sales and how they relate to the bunker locations. Also, I only do deliveries to Los Santos rather than Blaine County because the payout is so much higher, even though it is a little bit longer drive. The ultimate goal here was to determine which bunker locations allowed me to make the most money selling to Los Santos in the least amount of time possible. Here you see me doing a gun running sale from my Chumash bunker. But I also own the farmhouse bunker on my secondary character, as you'll see later in this video. First, I started by doing lots and lots of deliveries from my Chumash bunker to get some map snapshots of where the various delivery locations are. There are gun running delivery missions with dune buggies having five drops, marshals having five drops, Weaponized insurgents with five drops, heavily armored insurgents with a single drop, and the Phantom Wedge also with a single drop. Here are just a few of the dozens of the map snapshots I collected of the delivery missions. I used these snapshots to help me create markers on the map so I could test how long it took to drive the appropriate vehicle to each delivery from each of the bunkers. Some deliveries with multiple drops require you to deliver them in a specific order, like the one you see here. After testing these myself from two bunker locations, I noticed the delivery order does not change depending on which bunker you're starting from. I also confirmed this with my crewmates who own other bunkers. However, there are delivery missions with the Marshall truck and the dune buggy that show you either four or all five of the drop locations at once on the map, so you can choose which one you want to go to first. You can see here, if you started from the farmhouse up there to the east, this one to the north is probably the closest of the drops. In order to keep the testing fair, I measured the time and distance from each bunker to the closest pop possible drop point for these missions. The distance between the remaining drops is the same no matter which one you deliver to first. However, with the dune buggy mission, the final drop isn't revealed until you've completed the first four. So depending on where your fourth drop was, that can impact how far you have to go to get to the final drop. Once I had plenty of data for the wide variety of delivery locations, I started to analyze each bunker location. Here's the map from the Mays Bank foreclosure site of the 11 bunker locations. Let's start with the obvious. No matter how you slice it, you just can't possibly make the fastest deliveries to Los Santos from the three bunkers to the north of the Alamo Sea. So I eliminated those from my testing right from the start. Logically, the two that are further south on the map, which are Chumash and the farmhouse, would most likely have the best delivery times to Los Santos. It's these six bunkers in the middle of the map that were the questionable ones. The central location of the Route 68 and Grand Sonora bunkers were beneficial because they allow you to get to the east and west equally well, 
However, they're further north and they have winding roads going to the south, so after several time tests, I found these bunker locations just couldn't compete with Tumash and the farmhouse. The two in Sandy Shores could never be faster than the farmhouse, and the Fort Zancudo bunker would always take longer than Chumash. All of this led me to determine that the only real contenders are the farmhouse and Chumash bunkers. I completed dozens of deliveries from both of these bunkers using my primary female character at Chumash and my secondary male ca character at the farmhouse. I timed how long it took to reach the first, well, or sometimes the only, drop point for each sail mission and I tracked my results. Since the gun running sail missions are so random, it was difficult to get very many of the exact same missions between the two locations. So sometimes I'd have to simulate the drive from the other location using a closely matched vehicle so I could have more results to compare. After all of this testing, it became obvious that the missions are equally spread out on the map so that some are further to the east and some are further to the west and ultimately they result in nearly equal the same amount of time spent driving to deliveries from Chumash and the farmhouse. There was less than a 1% difference in the sum total of delivery times between these two bunkers, so it was a virtual tie. That means either Chumash or the farmhouse bunker would be an excellent choice. To decide between the two, you need to consider a few important factors. Do you want to be close to your other businesses? Or maybe close to an ammunition? Or perhaps close to a custom shop? Do you like this country setting of the farmhouse? Or the beautiful sunsets on the coast at Chumash? The regular price of the Chumash bunker is 1.65 million, but the regular price of the farmhouse bunker is more expensive at just under 2.4 million. However, as it was when I recorded this video, the farmhouse bunker often goes on sale and can sometimes be purchased for as little as just under 1.2 million. Remember, when you move to a new bunker location, you have to purchase the upgrades all over again. But sometimes the upgrades are available at a discount too. Thank you so much for watching. A like for this video and a subscription to my channel would be greatly appreciated. I welcome your feedback in the comments as well, and you can help other viewers by telling them which bunker you chose and why, and if you're glad you chose it. Have a great day in Los Santos, and we'll see you here next time.